Hello, my name is Eric Bach, and welcome to another session of Techniques brought to you by NEI. In today's session, we'll go over how to set up the GEO7X integrated laser to record offsets in ArcPad. We're going to make sure Bluetooth is set up, so click on the Start menu, go to Settings, choose Connections. And then we're going to open the wireless manager. And under Bluetooth, it says it's off. I'm just going to turn it on. When you connect the range finder, it automatically puts everything under Bluetooth. It uses COM6. So that's set up. I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to exit out of here. We're going to go to the start menu, fire up ArcPad, double click on it. It's going to take about 15 seconds to open up. When the software opens up, we're going to just open up a new map. And the first thing we need to do is go into Advanced Settings. So on the main toolbar, I'm going to click under the Options menu. We're going to choose Advanced Settings. And you're going to scroll all the way to the right until you see Extensions. And we need to turn on the Laser Extension. It's the same protocol that we used to use for the Laser Ace. So that is the MDL slash TNL Laser Ace. So check that box next to there. We're going to hit OK. It's going to require you to reset, so we hit yes. Just take a second to fire back up. We're going to open back up with a new map. Now we need to set up the range finder. So under the GPS icon, we're going to hit the drop down, go to range finder preferences. Our protocol is going to be the MDL Laser Ace. Our port is COM6 range finder module, baud rate of 4800. Now this next step is important. If you don't change this, it probably won't work. Under Feature Capture button, we're going to change it from any, and we're going to just pick any one of these buttons in here. In the past, and actually earlier today, I couldn't get it to work until I changed this option here. I'm going to hit OK. Now we're going to start a quick project just to test this out. So I'm going to start up a quick project. I'm just going to use the defaults. going to ask to activate the GPS. I'm going to actually uncheck that for now. I'm going to hit OK. So your next step is on the main menu. We need to make sure the range finder is active. So under the satellite icon, hit range finder active. We're going to go to the edit toolbar. We're going to make sure to turn on offset point. And now I'm just going to digitize a point. Comes up with the offset screen. I'm going to use the center button on the geo the old camera slash laser range finder capture button. You'll see it activates the range finder module. Now I'm going to point it at the object I want to shoot. We're going to shoot this Esri bag. I'm going to hit the button again to fire the laser. It's five feet away. I'm going to hit the checkbox. It's going to make the dinging noise. That means it received its offset. Outside with the GPS, you would hit the tripod. Then you hit the satellite button. I don't have any satellites in here. It's not going to work. Hit OK. But that's how you set up ArcPad 10.2 to use the new laser range finder module. This concludes today's technique session. Please visit neigps.com for more videos, FAQs, and information on upcoming trainings. Thank you and have a great day.